In this tutorial, you'll learn how to quickly create glowing cracks onto any surface in Blender using any image texture. This is great for creating glowing cracks in the dirt or stone for some fantasy scene, a planet render, or you know, anything you could possibly think of that would match this. This tutorial is actually pretty quick and simple. My name is Joshua Autumn via 2EasyCG and let's get started. So as you can see from the scene, I'm in the node editor and I've already set up my image texture. Since we want the glows to come from within the cracks and the crevices of the texture, we'll use the exact same color map. Click on the image texture node and press shift D on your keyboard to duplicate it and place it anywhere you like. If you're using a texture mapping node for the original image texture node, be sure to plug the vector inputs and outputs together for the duplicate. We're going to generate the glows using the black and white values of the current texture. For this, if you actually happen to have a bump or displacement map, I recommend you use that for this tutorial rather than the original color map. But just in case if you don't have one, we'll convert the image to black and white inside the node editor. Press the add button down here or press shift A on your keyboard and search for the RGB to BW node. This node converts red, green, and blue color values to black and white. Place it and plug the image textures color output into the color input of the converter node or the BW. We can see how it works by plugging in the converter node into the diffuse node, and as you can see, our texture is now black and white with no other color value. Now let's tell the software exactly where to put the glow effect on, so let's add in a math node. We'll plug the converter node's value output into the math node's top value input, and then change the math node's operation from add to less than. The bottom value will act as our strength. If we plug the math node into the diffuse shader, you can see the effect that it creates and changing it to greater than basically inverts the effect. Next, we'll add in a bump node. Plug the math node's value output into the bump node's height input. Then just plug in the bump node's normal output into the diffuse shader's normal input. If you're using the principal shader or any other material shader, it's basically the same process as to what you're plugging it into. Now let's add in a mix shader node. We're going to mix our diffuse setup with an emission shader to give the glow. So obviously, let's go ahead and drop in an emission shader. Go ahead and plug it into the mix shader's bottom input. And as you can see, we get nothing that we want at least. This trash happened because we actually didn't tell Blender where to emit light on the texture. So let's plug in the math node's value output into the mix shader's factor input. Now as you can see, the cracks and crevices on the textures now glow. Oh, and if you want to get the opposite result, we can invert the effect explained before by changing the math node's operation to greater than. You can also use the math node's bottom value as your strength and the scale for the glow. You can play around with it until you get a result that you're okay with. And that's it! We've now created the glowing cracks on our object. As a bonus, I'll show you how to create some cool color for the glowing cracks by using just two more nodes. Go ahead and add in a noise texture node. Then, plug it into the emission shader's color input. You can now see the color of the glow changes, but what if we wanted a different color? We're actually using the noise texture mainly for its color pattern. Solid glow colors look very unreal, unless if it's for a small object in the scene, then I guess it won't matter too much. But let's change the color values with the RGB curves node. Now this part is all you, tweaking the contrast along with the red, blue, and green channels. Oh yeah, and also you can raise the emission shader strength to something higher than one. Forgot to point that out. And that's it. That is how to create some fancy glows on your object. And it's funny because I actually wanted to learn how to do this myself until I found out that the math node is actually great for pretty much any setup as it allows you to do great things with node combinations, mixing, and much more. If you found this video helpful in any way, be sure to give this video a like so that more people can find the video as well as to, you know, show your support. I make material based tutorials and beginner time saving tricks, so if you want to see what else I have to offer or those videos in specific, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and get to Bon Bon.